financial goals. Everyone's preaching about how it is ideal to discuss your goals with the financial advisor before you plan your investments. It will be good idea to have your list of financial goals ready before you settle down to investing your savings. How should you define your financial goals? If your list runs like this, I would like to go for an international holiday when I have the money. I will buy a swanky car when I get promoted. By the time I retire, I should own a second home in my village. You may have to do better than that. A goal has to be more carefully defined, or be smart. A smart financial goal is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time-bound. The goal to take an international holiday becomes specific, if you identify where you would like to go. Going to Bangkok is not the same as going to Switzerland. You can make it measurable when you estimate the cost involved. Your goal is attainable and realistic based on how much you earn and save. You may have a European tour in mind, but if you earn only 20,000 rupees a month and save a small fraction of it, buying a plane ticket alone may become challenging. That is why you need a definition of time, so you can plan where to go and how much to spend, based on what you actually earn and save. A smart financial goal will read as follows, I should be able to holiday in Bangkok by 2026, spending 3 lakh rupees on it. The more smart you can be in your goal, the easier it will be to measure your progress. Once you have your goal in place, you know exactly how much you need to save, and how much time you need to do it in. So, it's time your financial goals got smart. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.